Okay, here we are on the profiles, and if you're logged in looking at your own profile, you're going to see this button called Friend Requests. And I added in a new container, a new interaction container for the Friend Requests list. So when we press that, you can see that opens up, and it toggles just like the other ones. And it shows that person's picture. It's clickable. You can go to their profile, and their name sends you to their profile as well. And you have an accept or deny link. Now those accept and deny links are going to be Ajax as well. So when you click them, this sentence here, or this line, is going to process information over the server without refreshing the page, and it's going to bring back a result. We are going to list out the friends, because once we accept or deny people here, we're going to need to show on our profile who our friends are. Okay, to get that new box to appear, I simply created a new div here under the private message div and the add friend div. And if you want, keep these nice and tidy. You can close those up by hitting that little minus sign there. And when you want to expand it, you just hit that line again right there. Hit the plus sign and there it goes. So I added a new interactions container and you can see it has a little bit of its own styling. I, w I wanted to make sure it had a white background a height of 240 pixels and overflow of auto that way if there's more than like two friend requests it shows a scroller rather than making the page really long it'll be in a little block just like you saw it here you see that little block it's in a scroller because I have more than two okay so what I did was inside of that I put a little sentence that says the following people requesting you as friend you can see that line right here, the following people requesting you as friend. Then I did MySQL query to get everybody in a nice list here. And the query is wrapped up right here, and I'll show you that. You can see the query and everything, all this PHP code is inside of this div called friend requests. So let's open this up. You can see it's about, I don't know, 20 lines. But in those 20 lines, we select all from friends requests. That's the pending friend request table that we made in the last lesson, I think it was. Where member 2 field in that table is equal to this profile owner's ID. Order by ID ascending, limit 50. So it's only going to give you 50 results, and it's ordering them ascending, not descending. You can order them ascending, descending or random any way you want but I think ascending is best here because I think it'll give you the first ones that requested you first on top and the query is then we use the MySQL num rows function on that query to get the num rows into a variable here then we run a little if condition right here to say if the num rows is less than one we echo out you have no friends request at this time else we execute this code which is all of this right here we run the while loop with the mysql fetch array over the query to get all of the row data out that we need that we specified we're specifying here row we're grabbing the id from that table and mem1 mem1 would be the person who's requesting your friendship now that's put into a variable here called mem1 so you can then SQL once again so what you're doing here is you're in a while loop and you're creating another while loop to get but it, you're only gonna have a limit of one on this so it's not like you're gonna have crazy loops going over and over and over and it's gonna use a lot of system resources it's not it's pretty efficient the way it's set up so you run another SQL using that mem1 variable the ID for member one that's a person requesting your friendship all the people actually that's all the people requesting your friendship as they come through this while loop and we run another query that is selecting the first name and last name from the my members table because we have to access what the person's name is that's requesting the friendship each one in the loop so we get each requester's last name and first name here in a little while loop that's set to a limit of one then we do a check pick mechanism once again 
which if we wind up using this check pick mechanism a lot there's things we can do to put that into a function or even a class file that'll make it to where we can reuse it over many different files and many different parts of the profile script if we need to but for now in production we're just going to leave it like this and run the mechanism again we come out with a variable called lil pick so here we echo out in the while loop each member that's requesting us as friend and it's in a little table I just slapped it in a table that way I can easily put the picture over to this side it's in one cell and then in another cell here there's these two sentences and wrapped in those two sentences in that little section in that cell in that table cell we have a span ID of request ID so what's gonna happen is there's an REQ and then the number for request ID is gonna be here and that's gonna be very important for when you want to put the output line from the Ajax process here it's gonna overwrite this line it'll take out those two links and it'll put the result of accepting or denying that's why that is wrapped in that span so you can target that ID when those things are pressed and there's JavaScript that's going to go along with this so there's a little more to it and I'm gonna explain every bit of it don't you worry so here we echo out for each member this set of data within this table just like we've been doing all the others it's a little link that has on click return false but on mouse down we run that JavaScript function accept friend request on this one it's deny so we deny friend request so all you need is a javascript function called accept friend request and then one called deny friend request and simply send the request id through it as an argument so let's go ahead and make those javascript functions now for accepting and denying which they are going to enable some more ajax functionality to happen real quick now we will return to the file which is request as friend.php which is the friend request URL for all three of these functions and we're gonna make sure we put a part two and three in here now because remember we have part one which was if the request equals request friendship you can see here request is accept friend here request is deny friend so we can simply go here and put new if conditions to say if post request equals deny friend or if post request equals accept friend we run a whole different set of code and this code here would not process because if post request equals request friend would not be coming from any one of these functions that's how it's gonna work so here in request as friend.php we're going to put part two and three now which are going to deal with accepting a friend or denying a friend and since we're going to use this same script for three things we get to remove a couple things like this if mem1 this error if mem1 equals mem2 when they're trying to request friendship we should put those inside yeah let's see uh, right there let's grab those two we're gonna put those right here instead because that is more where they properly belong because that's the only scenario that would affect these because mem1 and mem2 aren't going to be sent through and we can actually take these yeah let's take these let's put them where they belong to right above that because that's the only time we would need those variables is when the post request is request friendship otherwise we're going to be using a request ID for parts two and three of this script which will be handling these two Ajax functions accept friend and deny friend okay here's the part of the request this friend dot PHP script that deals with handling accepting friend requests first we get the friend request ID variable into a local variable the posted ID then we SQL query from the friend request table where ID equals this request ID that way we can access member one and member two the ID for member one and member two of this friend request run a loop here to access 
the value of mem1 and mem2 that's in this friend request database for this ID. Each ID in the friend request database has a value of mem1 and mem2 fields to go with it. Now, here's where we start getting into dealing with and creating arrays. First thing we're going to do is SQL friend array member 1 and SQL friend array member 2 are going to be local variables created from the value of querying where we select the friend array from my members table and we added that friend array field I think it was tutorial number three of this series no tutorial number two we added the friend array field to the my members table then we simply run a while loop on that query to access the friend array we put it in a local variable right here so now we have access to those both friend arrays for member one and member two we take both of them and explode them that means they're going to be an array an official array in the PHP compiler it's going to be seen as an array once it's exploded then we can say we can use array functions once we explode it we can use all the array functions let me show you develop PHP learn PHP where is it working with arrays array function reference list right there all those like you can see in my script I'm using one called in array let's see if that's y'all right oh, where is it I in array checks if a value exists in an array so I'm using that function there to see if each member is already in each other's list because we don't want to be adding people who are already in each other's lists by accident here in this part of the script so we just echo out this member is already your friend if each one happens to be found in each other one's friend array then after that all is well so put both into each other's arrays now to make them friends so we say if friend array one is not equal to nothing that means it has friends in it already then we're going to put the array and a comma and then this new member and that's how it works else if the friend array is empty then we're just going to make their friend array in the database equal to this member because that it would be its only friend you don't need all the other and then the comma and then the new guy you just need to put the new guy I hope that makes sense because that's how it works same thing for the member 2 you do the same thing to his array if his array is not empty then you just add this one with a comma this person to the end of his array else his array is empty he has no friends so you just add the one member that means he only has a one friend so far the next time he goes to have another friend this will run for him because it won't be empty okay now we SQL to update both stored arrays so update array member one update array member two executes here we update my members set friend array so the field called friend array in the my members table for member one here and member two are going to be updated with this new friend array we compiled here by adding together by adding these two people together into their friends arrays and we echo out you are now friends with this member and we're going to have that shoot into this part of the page here let's see where is it right here this line is going to be replaced by whatever the output is that's what we're going to attempt to do now now back over in profile.php I just have to make sure in the accept friend request function that's looking to get return data back from that script we get the data to show that way like I said this line will get overwritten very seamlessly it'll be kinda magical this line will get overwritten by an output result for each time they click any of these accept or deny buttons on any of these people 
Now I'm going to FTP and test it out. Oh, whoopsie. i got to change this to X. Well, that won't target the right thing. Okay, I'm on my profile. Let me refresh. And let me accept one of these guys here. Preferably somebody with a picture. Let's get Zach Ruiz. Accept. See? It says you are now friends with this member. It took over that whole sentence just like we wanted. That whole line is gone. And now it says you're now friends with that member, so they can't click anything else for that person there. And if I refresh, Zach Ruiz will be out of my list. Because he and I are now friends. See? No Zach Ruiz. He's out. Alright. Now, all we need is when we click this deny button. And that's going to be very, very simple. I told you it'd be simple. Those four lines take care of it. So, let's say this is part three. If denying friendship. So, if post request is deny friend posted with the request ID see him from post from profile.php here's the post request is deny friend with the request ID Let's save that so what happens is we get the request ID into a local variable then we just MySQL query the database to delete from friend request where ID is equal to request ID limit one then we just echo out request denied and let's FTP and test that as well. Okay, I'm going to refresh. The new scripts are up. Click friend requests here. And I'm going to have to deny one of these people. Uh, Jason Sweeney. Let's deny. Jason, you can just, uh, or I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send a friend request to you because I'm not purposely denying you here. Let's press deny. See? Request denied. Now if I refresh, Jason's not going to be on my list anymore. And he and I are not friends. But I can go and request him now. Okay, so pretty much that's how it works. You see it's all working good. So we have the ability when we're on another person's profile to request friend right here then while we're on our profiles we have the ability to check anybody who's sent us friend requests and accept and deny them in part 5 we'll get the friends displaying now that we're accepting them and everything we have I have like four friends now that I can display here and that's what I'm gonna work on doing and then after that there's only one more part one more video after that number five which is going to be number six and I think that'll be the final one maybe and that one will show you how to remove friends because you don't want to be able to make friends with somebody and then they piss you off and you can't remove friends you know all right see you in part five